In this video we're going to talk a little bit about how to import and export data between link tools and ECM link. Uh, to begin with, let's look at a log in ECM link. This is a simple pull that I've got loaded up here with certain items displayed. Um, in order to bring this log into link tools and, and manipulate and view the data and do things with that, we need to have uh, 13 items selected and viewable here uh, when we do the export. The 13 items needed are map, throttle position, RPM, torque, wideband, AF ratio estimate, wideband factor, timing, load factor, airflow, horsepower, VE, and speed. Once you have those items selected um, and, and visible in the graph, you can simply hit File, Export, give it a file name and hit Save, and then the export file is created and that's all that's needed. You can then bring that into Link Tools and, and manipulate, view the data, and do all our things with it we want to do in that program. Uh, before we do that though, there's a, a few things to mention. Uh, first of all is RPM. The standard RPM signal, as you can see by the orange line in my graph here, is a little bit choppy. That's the default RPM uh, trace that's within every log. There's another parameter though called Smooth RPM, and if you look at it, it's much smoother than the original RPM signal. Uh, this is a the smooth RPM was created by the guys at ECM Link uh, internally to do some of the things they needed to do, and I highly, highly recommend that you use this RPM signal rather than the original, just because it is a lot smoother and it allows Link Tools to do some of its things uh, with much more accuracy. So to do that, what we want to do is basically get rid of that RPM or just not display it. Uh, what I like to do is just rename it. We'll just rename it RPM old or something like that so I don't get it mixed up with the other one. And then uh, click on smooth RPM and rename that to RPM and select it. Now when you export your log you'll have a nice uh, very smooth RPM signal to use in Link Tools. Uh, the second thing I want to tell you about is horsepower and torque properties. Um, first thing is the gear ratios. These are pretty important as far as determining uh, the best estimate you can as far as horsepower and torque go. Uh, a lot of people have asked how do you get these values and it's really rather simple. If you look at the log here there's another parameter you can uh, look at called RPM divided by speed. Now this is not needed for the export, but it's useful here in that you can average, select a, an area of it over the pull. This is a third gear pull, so I'm going to select the area between the uh, full throttle uh, th area here and right click and hit select average selections. And you'll tell it'll tell me here that the value is 77. Now if I go to my horsepower and torque properties under third gear, I can type in that value and I'll have accurate numbers for that gear. You'd want to do this for each gear that you're going to log and export into Link Tools. And of course save, save that as a default so you can always use that. The other thing is vehicle mass. You want to make sure you've got an accurate weight for your car uh, with you in it. And if you want to be really accurate and consistent in this, uh, when you export the log, try to uh, think about how much fuel's in the car. If you got a full tank of gas, that's going to change things quite a bit versus having an empty tank of gas. Uh, but anyway, try to get as accurate with that as you can. Finally, there's input and output smoothing. Um, when looking at the log itself, you'd probably want to have a lot more smoothing than what you'll have when you export. Now the reason for this is that in ECM Link, the smoothing is done mathematically, so if you add a lot of smoothing to this, let's let's crank this up to like six, and uh, we'll make this something like 50, just so you can see the effect here. What happens is it gives a nice smooth line, but it shifts it to the right. The reason again is that it's using it and it's smoothing it in real time, so that it can dis be displayed on a graph. And by definition, a, math a mathematical smoothing function is going to shift it to the right. So what I like to do, since ECM Link is actually, I mean Link Tools is actually applying post-processing to this, and you don't have to smooth things this way, I like to set the input to 3, set the output to 1, which is basically no smoothing. 
so that we get somewhat choppy signal here in ECM link but in link tools as you'll see this will be a nice smooth value without the shift to the right so again I, I recommend input smoothing of three output smoothing of one anyway once you have all those set up uh, set every, you uh, click on set all default preferences so that it's remembered and it's important to remember that you always want to try to export each log um, using the same parameters so uh, that way you have a, a, and you know you're comparing apples to apples when you look at different logs so anyway that's setting up ECM link uh, again you hit file export exporter file and you're ready to import it into link tools to do that it's pretty simple we come over to link tools go to log chart hit import log and we'll select our file uh, link tools will go through and do some calculations and conversions and there's our log imported and ready to use to get that into the VE table and the AFR tables uh, it's pretty simple just go to ECM link go to the VE table right click say copy table go back to link tools right click anywhere out in this area and say paste table from clipboard and there's our VE table the AFR tables work the same way only difference is they come from the direct access tables in ECM link so we'll pick open loop max octane this is an AFR table here and go back to link tools right click on the AFR table right click out here and say paste table and of course the timing works the same way with the timing max octane table copy table right click paste table so now we have our AFR tables, timing table, and V table all um, loaded up, ready to work with, as well as our log chart. In the next video, we'll get into um, actually using this data and moving around and looking at things in different ways.